classic. It's a classic game. It's an instant, yeah. instant classic. Yeah. I mean. Hey guys, this is Preston Schleiss from Behind the Monitor. Today I'll be joined by my lovely co-host, Evan Milkowski. How's it going? So Evan, I got to start this off real quick. What you been playing recently? Uh, I just finished up um, South Park. Uh, ooh, not close to the mic. Uh, I just finished up. Um, I was on like the last fight on like on like uh, South Park Fractured Butthole. Because <laughs> um, I've been watching South Park and I'm like, wait, I need to finish that game. You need to finish the game. Yeah, and so I, South Park uh, is very smart in all of its relevancy, and I like I like all that shit. So. Good comedy, good comedy. So is it all? I'm not very familiar with the South Park games. Is it more uh, of a longer game? Or? They're they're not super long. They're like. For an RPG, uh, they're like this. They're like the size of like a Pokemon game. And oh, the first okay. one, the first one, Stick of Truth. Um, that's the only two I've really played. Mm -hmm. um, the first one, Stick of Truth, is maybe maybe like ten hours. It's not it's not a long game at all. Oh, so um, it's and that game is a lot like Paper Mario. If you ever played that? Oh yeah, yeah. And I don't know what to compare Fractured Butthole to, but it's a lot better in my opinion. All right, all right, nice. What have you been playing recently, Preston? Um, a lot of MW2 and... I've also been playing yeah, that. Lot, I yeah. wanted to differentiate it because I knew you'd say it. Oh, no, that's fair. Yeah, um, I haven't been playing Warzone like I think you have, but I've been playing... Yeah, new update just today new as today. we're recording this. Yeah, uh, as... I've, I've not even played it. Um, oh, really? I played it right before I came here, actually. I, I, I honestly should have hopped on, but I didn't really have time today. I just got done with work, so... I mean, I was looking at the Battle Pass, and um, I don't know. Dude, I, the, I, the new, um, that, that'll bring the new, uh, like, Black Guard cell, Black oh, cell. Oh, it's like it, a $30 uh, Battle Pass yeah, you have to buy with money. Yeah, you have to. Oh, no, that I, is... I, I, it's such I'm a not buying that. It's <laughs> such a scamaz. I mean, I think the whole industry's kind of moved towards monetizing... Um, I, I do not like games as a service as i play games as a service yeah i mean it, yeah it, it like the longevity of games is just it's just not there anymore like no. think think of it like what reason do you have to buy the previous cod other than like for campaign which it's a mediocre campaign at that yeah exactly so it's like wow i'm dropping what 15 like 15 bucks each each month each every two mm -hmm. months on a battle pass that gives yeah. me cosmetics no. it's just not worth it and like yeah it hurts the longevity of games um mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't lock content behind like paywalls like it used to be, mm -hmm. um, I still think it it's not good. It's it, it hurts um, just the image that games have. I think. Well, yeah, and I mean like older games, like if you think of like Fallout or um, I'm trying to think of other games, like Skyrim, they mm -hmm. all have um, DLC that get, like like you said is extra content, but it is behind a paywall, but it increases the playability of those games. So and like it's, it's cool to have like an expanded version of the game that you know is an expanded version, mm -hmm. like part of the game that came after launch, even if you play it years later. Oh yeah, I've, I've had. It's sure, it's sure it could be annoying, but a lot of times uh, games have like definitive editions or like all the DLC included. Yeah, for um, much cheaper. Yeah, and yeah, they're they're more of like a a, a whole experience, so they get added on for free eventually. Mm -hmm. So this whole like saying oh. Yeah, we'll have, like, co only cosmetics behind this insane paywall. It's, like, yeah. $20, $20 for, like, a skin and a, like, a weapon skin, an operator skin, and, like, um, mm. uh, like, some vehicle skins and, like, a, a emblem or something. Yeah, it's, like, not worth it. Like, like, sure. Like, the only ones I'll, I'll actually, like, think are cool is, like, the crossover ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, for but, sure. Like, I, I don't know. That's really, and, and, like, Fortnite just does, like, all of that. Thing. Yeah. Like, it, they went ham on that and I, I used to play it i don't play anymore i was gonna say fortnite's been going crazy they've got like what a they bunch of animes yeah that's, yeah a bunch of animes um they've got like halo um street fighter like Any, you you name it ariana grande yeah is in fortnite. i was gonna say you name it it's in fortnite it's kind of ridiculous they're kind of just cashing like every single marvel hero that mm -hmm. like like, you never, you, those are crazy things that you'd never used to think of, like, back in the day. Like, no, no. Ha having, like, that crossover, like, that's Smash Bros. That's, like, all, all that's what's, yeah, it was literally, literally only Smash Bros. It was literally And then, Smash like, everything Bros. became Smash Bros. because there's a ton of money behind it. Oh, yeah. And, it, yeah, and for Smash sure. Bros. For, for a long time was just one company. Then once there's more money behind it, hey, look, there's third Every, parties in it now. Yeah, exactly. So, they're, they're, like, the whole industry is helping each other more to make money, I guess. Mm-hmm. But it's there's that busy. aspect. I'm trying to look at it in all ways here. I don't like it personally. Yeah, I don't know. It just kind of hurts. It hurts the buyer because it's like, it's you yeah. don't you don't want to. 
and it even reflects in the games too. Like these are like ga- games that have come out recently seem like unfinished or they don't like they seem like they have less content than they used to. They're, and then they're they, rushed out. They're yeah. rushed out, and they just try to encourage you to buy those extra add-ons just so so the company makes more money. And it's just mm-hmm. not um, it's not very consumer friendly. And I don't know I don't know why the industry is going in that direction, but it is. And games that are built on that like that service that like uh, games as a service model and they they don't do well, those mm-hmm. games don't they don't they're nothing. Yeah. Like like think exactly. of um, uh, what is it the it, it, boss fight game you play as like the boss and then you're you, you there's like four players and then one of them's a boss and there's um, um you fight against each other oh, what was it called I evolve I, evolve yes evolve. yeah yep and that thing that had a ton of hype that was a really popular one but like mm-hmm. that was a games as a service model it never it never ever took off past like 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 hype that's well, always gonna be the example it's interesting you say that because i think um shoot it was a game that came out recently it was a zombie game i don't think it's dead by daylight no no it's um dead by daylight is still kicking it is still kicking which is actually it's a different model of game that um yeah. is pretty cool because it unlocks new characters which allow you to, for for money you pay money and you get new characters mm-hmm. which is a new play style but um there was a different one it's not last of us um Shoot, it's another, um, it's another zombie type game. Anyways, you played as a zombie, and then other people would try to kill you. It's a game mode, um, mm-hmm. that kind of reflects that same model you were talking about. But it's an older game. They recently, they recently released a sequel. I, I can't think of it. I'll think of it later. But I can't think of it. Yeah, um, but no. So th- there are like um, diversions in the market, but they just don't seem to catch on for some reason. Yeah. Which I'll, is very unfortunate. I'll say I, I'll give like the, the the games as a service model a pass mm-hmm. and free to play games. Oh yeah, because that's where it started and that's where it should have stayed. Yeah, you shouldn't be paying money for games as a service. Yeah, it, it like it doesn't make sense. Uh, like unless there's a substantial amount of content that warrants you having a paywall to get at that games as a service. Yeah, COD does not does not have that. No, like the only thing that isn't a games as a service in the new in Modern Warfare Two is the campaign. And I have not even touched the campaign, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So I mean, as I was gonna say, I I don't think any hardly anybody buys COD for the campaign anymore, mm-hmm. which is unfortunate. I I don't. I think I, they're I, quality. I, I don't think they're bad campaigns, but it's just not what you buy the game for anymore. No, it's just really a secondary, um, which is unfortunate. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, I think uh, well, and then there has been some new like Hogwarts Legacy. That's more of a traditional. RPG mm-hmm. that's come out that has some ex- uh, has had some success. Mm-hmm. I don't believe I haven't played it personally, but I don't believe it has um, a games as a service model. I'm I'm not sure. I have not played yeah, okay. Hogwarts Legacy. We'll but, have to ask our, our good friend Josh. Yeah, we will. But um, um, yeah. uh, what what was what was I again? I, I oh my point was um I find a lot of like the better games like the more quality games that come out. A lot of them are role playing games. It hasn't been like affected yes. nearly as much. Red Dead Two, um, is probably the best example. Oh um, yes, yes. Red Dead far, Two yeah. is a role playing game. Mm-hmm. It's an action role playing game. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you're, what are you role playing as a cowboy? Yeah, you're, you're playing. You're yeah, you're, dispute that. It's, yeah. it's a role playing game. Yeah, it's on. a role play. No, I, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I yeah, know for sure. Um, but classic. It's a classic game. It's an yeah. instant classic. Yeah, I mean, it was a classic a month after it came out. Yeah, literally. Yep. Um, my favorite game. I'm wearing the shirt right now. Persona. I'm Persona Five. Yeah. I'm gonna you know, sound like a nerd. I don't know. That's all right. Hear this. Um, but, uh, amazing. I, I love those games and they're not for everyone, but if you can find enjoyment, they're some of the best experiences. Um, I think they are available. Well, I mean, I think, I think Pokemon's the easiest example. I was going to say, yeah, you told me it's like an adult version of Pokemon, right? Oh yeah. Well, or a more, more, more in uh, depth, more in depth I can't version. See, Pokemon's its own thing. Yeah. I was going to say. I, I can't really it's say. Got its own charm. It, 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 at the end of the day, every every RPG is the same. Basically, like yeah. Like if you have to, if you strip combat, it, if you strip it down, if, if you, yeah, you take it down to sh- turn based combat and all that. Yeah. Um, just how it immerses you and like it doesn't matter. Like you're staring at like that sixteen pixel screen, like mm-hmm. playing Pokemon. Oh, I was immersed, dude. Oh yeah, I was gonna say like Pokemon is just where where that love starts a lot a lot a lot yeah. for me. Like I was like. You got me playing a, a 3DS when I have an Xbox 360 downstairs. Yeah, there. this I little like, handheld. Yeah. Oh, Something about Pokemon. It just And it's timeless, too. Like, mm-hmm. I was recently playing Fire Red, and that game came out in 2004. The yeah. thing is, it's 17 years old. Yeah, it's almost. 19. Yeah, I was going to say, or, like, you know, it's like, 18 years old. Yeah, it's, like, as old as I am, so... 
But uh, just timeless. Mm-hmm. All right, Evan, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut you off here. All but right. uh, thanks for nice, Preston. Thank yep, you. Yep, thanks for the chat. Mm-hmm.